time stays long enough for anyone who will use it. Obstacle cannot crush me. Every obstacle yields to stern resolve. He who is fixed to a star does not change his mind. Patience serves as a protection against wrongs, as clothes do against cold. It had long since come to my attention that people of accomplishment rarely sat back and let things happen to them. They went out and happened to things. Where the spirit does not work with the hand, there is no art. He who loves practice without theory is like the sailor who boards ship without a rudder and compass and never knows where he may cast. It is easier to resist at the beginning than at the end. Men are in error when they lament the flight of time, accusing it of being too swift and not perceiving that it is sufficient as it passes. He who does not punish evil commands it to be done. Just as eating contrary to the inclination is injurious to the health, so study without desire spoils the memory and it retains nothing that it takes in. Our life is made by the death of others. An average human being looks without seeing, listens without hearing, touches without feeling, eats without tasting, moves without physical awareness, inhales without awareness of odor or fragrance, and talks without thinking. No man has a capacity for virtue who sacrifices honor for gain. Fortune is powerless to help one who does not exert himself. As a well-spent day brings happy sleep, so a life well-spent brings happy death. The acquisition of any knowledge, whatever, is always useful to the intellect because it will be able to banish the useless things and retain those that are good for nothing can be either loved or hated unless it is first known the greatest deception men suffer is from their own opinions a poet knows he has achieved perfection not when there is nothing left to add, but when there is nothing left to take away. The worst evil which can befall the artist is that his work should appear good in his own eyes. The painter has the universe in his mind and hands. Nothing strengthens authority so much as silence. If anyone wishes to see how the soul dwells in its body, let him observe how this body uses its daily habitation. That is to say, if this is devoid of order and confused, the body will be kept in disorder and confusion by its soul. Poor is the pupil who does not surpass his master. Once you have tasted flight, you will forever walk the earth with your eyes turned skyward. For there you have been, and there you will always long to return. God sells us all things at the price of labor. 
The truth of things is the chief nutriment of superior intellects. It is as great an error to speak well of a worthless man as to speak ill of a good man. The sorest misfortune is when your views are in advance of your work. Learn how to see, realize that everything connects to everything else,